As the sun dipped lower in the sky, casting elongated shadows across the cobblestone paths of the bustling seafood market, Sophie Sage, a culinary student turned investigator, found herself amidst the vibrant chaos. The salty breeze played with her short, curly hair as she adjusted her chef's coat, a symbol of her dual role. The air was thick with the scent of fresh fish, mingling with the distant cries of seagulls. Sophie approached Marco Reyes, a local fisherman known for his muscular frame and sun-kissed skin, who was busy arranging his catch. His demeanor shifted as she called out to him, his tone guarded and wary. Sophie needed answers about the night Chef Larkin was killed, and Marco's presence at the festival was a crucial piece of the puzzle. As she pressed him for details, the tension in his voice was palpable, hinting at secrets yet to be uncovered. The market, with its lively atmosphere, became a backdrop for the unfolding investigation, where every stall and shadow held potential clues. Sophie was determined to unravel the mystery, her mind racing with possibilities as she pieced together the fragments of that fateful night. Marco Reyes, with his muscular frame and sun-kissed skin, stood as a figure of intrigue in the bustling market. His guarded tone as he responded to Sophie Sage's inquiries hinted at the weight of the secrets he carried. The night of the festival, a night that should have been filled with celebration, was marred by the murder of Chef Larkin. Marco's recollection of an argument between the chef and Ruthie Clove, a fiery exchange over a recipe, added layers to the mystery. It was personal, he said, and the tension in his voice suggested deeper undercurrents. As Sophie listened, her mind was drawn to the tampered recipe book found at the crime scene, a potential link to the motive. Marco's mention of a shadow near the back of the kitchen, dismissed at the time as inconsequential, now seemed a crucial detail. The investigation was a delicate dance of piecing together these fragments, each revelation bringing Sophie closer to the truth. The market, with its vibrant energy, was a stark contrast to the dark secrets lurking beneath the surface, and Sophie was determined to bring them to light. Sophie Sage, armed with her notebook and a growing sense of determination, felt the weight of the investigation pressing upon her. The culinary world, with its intricate recipes and passionate chefs, was proving to be a landscape fraught with danger and deception. Marco's warning echoed in her mind, a reminder that this was no longer just about cooking. The kitchen secrets were dark and potentially deadly. As she jotted down notes, the pieces of the puzzle began to align, each clue leading her deeper into the mystery. She had allies now, Marco among them, but the path ahead was fraught with peril. The tension was palpable, a constant undercurrent as she navigated the complexities of the case. The investigation was heating up, and Sophie was ready to turn up the heat, determined to uncover the truth and bring justice to Chef Larkin. The market, with its bustling energy, was a reminder of the stakes involved, and Sophie knew she had to tread carefully as she delved deeper into the culinary underworld. Thank you for joining us on this intriguing journey into the culinary mystery surrounding the death of Chef Larkin. As Sophie Sage delves deeper into the investigation, the stakes continue to rise, with each clue revealing more about the tangled web of secrets and lies. The bustling seafood market, the guarded tones of those involved, and the shadowy figures lurking in the background all contribute to the suspense that keeps us on the edge of our seats. As the investigation heats up, Sophie must navigate the complexities of the culinary world, where recipes are not just about food, but also about power and betrayal. Stay tuned to the Storyteller channel for more updates on this captivating case. Follow us as we unravel the mystery and bring you closer to the resolution. The truth is out there, and Sophie is determined to find it. Don't miss the next chapter in this thrilling saga.